Hey guys, uh, welcome to Kishwin's Garage. Uh, today we are going to see how an air suspension is set up and also how it works. And also along with it we are also going to fix an air spring. Uh, this is the left side of the car and uh, as you can see the body has lowered quite a distance from its original position. And the fender almost covers 2 to 3 inches of the wheel. So I connected the car to the computer to see if there is any fault code which is registered. So the computer rightly read that the front left air spring is not holding pressure, which is obvious. This is a Mercedes-Benz GL350 CDI, 4MATIC, which means uh, the engine powers all the four wheels rather than front and rear wheels only. So we wanted to find uh, why the left spring is not rising. So we access the air compressor. This is the air compressor. This is a 3 liter V6 engine. To find the source of the problem and access different components, we had to remove the front bumper. So you can see the bumper is kept here. Every component in this vehicle is so robust, even a tiny screw has so much engineering behind it. And he is trying to access the left strut by removing the fender lining. Meanwhile, let me show you the basic setup. So as I showed earlier, this is the air compressor. And that is the inlet which I am pointing to. So an external pipe is connected with the inlet. Let me connect it. So the air enters through this pipe. And this pipe is fitted to the fender. So this is the filter which you can see. So the air enters into the pipe. And enters the filter to avoid any solid particles in the air. And then enters the compressor. So this is the motor which drives the compressor. So basically whenever we start a Mercedes or any air suspension car, so we hear a weird noise after turning the ignition on. So that is due to the compressor. So the air enters, gets compressed. The motor drives the compressor. The motor is given signal from the computer. So behind this you can see a small tube which goes up to the valve body. So this is basically a distribution unit which sends the compressed air to the four corners of the vehicle and it receives signals from the computer. So if you follow the tube it will go to the top of the strut. So let me show you how the front right strut works. So this pipe goes and ends on top of the strut. It's amazing to see how a small tube powers all the suspension. So this air gets into a rubber balloon. Let me show you. So this is a air spring. It is so rigid. So this is the thing which gives us the sleep like a baby effect. And this is the left side which is punctured. So the culprit is here so we had to replace this. So basically the body is resting in the four corners using this. The upper part is connected to the body and the lower part is connected to the lower arm and then the wheel. So this is a vehicle dynamic platform sensor which I might cover in a different video. This is a ride height sensor which sends signals to the ECU and causes the suspension to react while driving over bumps or due to heavy loads on the vehicle. To provide a smoother ride. So here is the culprit. We got him removed from the car. So this is basically a balloon. Air gets inside this hole. It is a two-way valve which inflates and deflates the balloon. So we replace the left strut. There was a tiny crack on it through which the air was leaking. Mostly this could have caused because the vehicle was not used for a longer time. And as the bellow is made out of rubber, it could get hard eventually. And also we found out that the connector which was connecting to the compressor, the filter pipe which I showed you, that was broken. So the air was entering directly without any filtration and this could have caused the bellow to crack. So we replaced with a brand new strut and the vehicle is running fine. Thank you for watching. 
press the right buttons to watch more content.